The ERP adapter is a utility that allows organizations to get bill of materials information quickly and accurately out of Model Manager so that it is available to other applications in the organization, such as the ERP or MRP system. The ERP adapter is configured by an administrator. Firstly, the administrator selects a folder for the exported information. This folder could be a folder that is monitored by the ERP system, so that information is automatically updated as it is exported by the ERP adapter. We can set a rule to trigger the ERP adapter export on a predefined state change for a part record. This will automatically force an update on part record release, for example. We can also allow a group to push a manual update that is not related to a state change. It might be that we have some long lead time items in a project that need ordering ahead of release. In this case, we're going to allow members of the designers group to force a manual export. In addition, we can configure the system to publish physical file records along with the bill of materials. This could include native models, drawing PDFs or any related documentation. In this case, we configure the system to transfer the bill of materials, drawing PDFs and any related documents. As a user, we can now select the part record that we want to publish. Here we see that we have a small assembly with an associated assembly drawing. We also have components with associated drawings and some related documentation. To manually transfer this information, we right click on the part record and select Send to Enterprise. By checking the output folder, we can see an XML file containing bill of materials information, including part attribute details, and also a subfolder containing the physical files exported from the system. This includes drawing PDFs and the related project documents. If we delete these records, we can repeat the export using the automated transfer based on state change. Once again, select the part record and change the state to released. If we again check the output folder, we confirm that the automated transfer has taken place. Notice that we have a record of when the last ERP transfer took place, so if we're not sure if the Bill of Materials has been published or if the information needs updating, we now have an easy way of checking.